I didn't mean for any of it to happen. I was out that night, like I usually am, trying to forget things and have a good time. That's when I met her, Eva Smith, though I didn't know her real name back then. She was different, not like the other girls you'd see around. There was something about her, something that made you take notice. She seemed a bit desperate, but not in the way you'd expect. More like life had really knocked her about. I wasn't in a good place, if I'm honest. Drinking too much, trying to forget my own problems. I know it's not an excuse, but it's the truth. I don't really remember how things went that night, but I know I forced my way in. I'm ashamed to even admit that now. I took advantage of her when I had no right to. I didn't really think about how it might have affected her, not at the time. I was selfish and careless, but we met again after that, and she didn't push me away. In fact, we started seeing each other more. I tried to make up for what happened. I even gave her some money. Well, it wasn't really mine. I stole it from the family business. I just wanted to help her somehow, but I couldn't face up to what I'd done properly. I couldn't tell her or anyone else the truth. I knew she was in a tough spot, and I thought I could help. She told me she was pregnant, and that hit me hard. I didn't know what to do. I wasn't ready for any of that, and I didn't know how to handle it. But I did care for her. I really did. I wanted to help, but I didn't know how to be the kind of man she needed. In the end, I failed her. Just like everyone else in her life, I left her to deal with it on her own. I couldn't face up to my responsibility. I was too scared and too weak to do what was right. And now she's gone, all because of me and the rest of us. I thought giving her money would fix things, but it wasn't enough. I didn't see that what she needed was more than that. She needed someone to stand by her, to care for her properly. And I wasn't that person. I failed her. We all failed her. Now, I have to live with that.